mozzarella versus burrata. Let's start with this mozzarella I bought last night at the co-op. Oh, there goes the juice all over the studio floor. So I'm just going to actually just put this down as it is. And I'm also going to open the Marks and Spencer's burrata. So this one I paid, you know, like 20 pence for, and this one I paid um, 60 pence for. Again, normally three times that on retail. The burrata is famous because it's super, super, super soft on the inside. So it's kind of like pearls of mozzarella milk, or you can feel, you can feel the difference straight away. This one is pretty rigid. This one is a little bit sexy. We'll start with the um, the co-op mozzarella. It's, it's got a really good firm texture. And as you can see, it's pulling. So it's pulling quite nicely. Um, for a one pound, you know, mozzarella, if you're on a budget, this is certainly going to work. For me, I've got to have a little bit of salt on it. You know what? That's pretty damn good. As you can see, with the burrata, we're a completely different beast. So this just pulls. So this, we're actually going to use this burrata as a, instead of Parmesan cheese, on our, um, on our butternut squash pasta. So actually, I'm just going to be a bit naughty and that's going to do me on the taste test. Totally different products, but two totally different priced items. Um, both really, really good quality, um, fantastic to cook with, fantastic on a cheese board. That's our burrata versus mozzarella.